So I'm Bob. I love to get rowdy. I love to flip on my basketball chair. I started back with um, Parasport back in 1998. Um, Chisa was my occupational therapist at my school at elementary and third grade. And she's like, do you want to play basketball? I'm like, yes, please. My name is Teresa Skinner, and I am the executive director of Parasport Spokane. In addition to building athletes, we're building athletes with integrity. We are striving to not just hopefully have them be active and find joy in being active and joy in playing sports and joy in being part of a team, but also confidence in themselves so that they can go on and do the things that all of us have access to do. I think one thing that is fascinating and unique about being involved with adaptive sports on the coaching side or on the executive director or program development side is that realizing that so many of whether they're youth or adults come with so many predisposed ideas about what they think is possible and that comes from the media it comes from their families it comes from the community and we like to say that at Parasport, we blow the doors off of those perceptions and those preconceived notions about what's possible. I'm Sophie Munter. I'm a student athlete at Eastern Washington University. I play wheelchair basketball and I also do track. Being involved with Parasport Spokane has been a real journey. Very exciting. Teresa led me to a path of being an independent woman. So we started Parasport Spokane in 2013 with, I think we had 12 athletes and about five staff, which everyone was volunteers, including myself. And we just started making it happen. We started with track and field and basketball, and we started growing the program and reaching out into the community of therapists, of families, and trying to really pull as many people, adults and youth, out of the woodwork and into doing something active and athletic. So, you know, the nice thing about Parasport is, you know, like it changed my life since day one. It helps kids, not just with wheelchair sports in general, it shows them how they become independent as on top of it. You know, they learn how to use the bathroom routines. They, I mean, I learned how to drive. I'm, I'm going to school now to play on a wheelchair basketball team just because it just showed me that I can be normal as anyone else and do as exactly everyone else can do. And yes, there's a little bit of adaptations, but we went through it and luckily, luckily Teresa pulled these pieces out and taught me how to do it so then I can show other kids now. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Block and I have been with Parasport for seven years, I think. And I do wheelchair basketball and track and apparently hockey right now. <laughs> Parasports has definitely motivated me to do things outside my own comfort zone because before, you know, it's kind of hard to like go travel somewhere. It's kind of scary, but then they kind of help me have confidence and also independence to do more stuff than I thought I could ever do or achieve. We know there's a billion other things that you get out of sport. We really just use sport as a catalyst for life because it changes everything and it changes not just the person involved, not just the athlete with the disability, it changes everyone around them, their perception of how they see them. The, the ripple effect is unbelievable. It's just gotta dive in and get it done. I wanna get up to the D2 level where I'm coaching the adult team. You know, just step up, up and away. And of course, gotta, gotta keep those goals up.